defense on the scrimmage? Uh, well, Tyler, you know, he just has the ability to make some throws that a lot of people can't make. Yeah. Um, you know, sometimes he's not necessarily reading the right thing or looking at the right thing, but he sees something open and he has the ability to snap his wrist and hit it. So it's where if you're grading him, you know, you give him a negative for his decision, mm -hmm. but a plus, um, you know, for what happened and, and for the, you know, result of the play. So he gets a lot of those negative decisions plus for, um, you know, the, the execution of is, it. Is that so, the Brett Favre rule? Yeah, but he... <laughs> Yeah, I guess. That, <laughs> is it? Do you anticipate this thing? Not, not that obviously you're not going to ask you to name because you won't. But do you anticipate this thing just to continue to be back and forth? It seems like one day a good, good day for one, a good day for the other. You know, back and forth with all of them. Well, you know, we don't make. This is a weird thing to say, but one of those guys is going to have to take a step forward and start to execute at a high level for us to make a decision. So. I mean, we're ready to make a decision any day if someone will go ahead and step forward and take charge. So has that been the case? They're all just about even still? Or yeah. has there been any separation of the guys? No, they're all out? about the same. They need to, someone needs to take step forward. Are you, what, what do you like about your tight end group? Um, they're, you know, Keith is a big on-the-ball tight end. Um, we ask the tight end to do a lot in our offense, um, which means there's a lot of learning that goes on with it. Um, you know, and he's the one that's experienced with Mickey behind him. And then Cole Hickatini, who got injured. Um, those guys are, um, you know, our, our offense, we really value that position. There's not many people in the country that do. Most people are four wide, but tight ends are important to us because of our experience in the NFL. Um, so we asked a lot from them. They got to know a lot. They know how to flex out and run routes as an outside receiver. They know how to have to be on the ball, off the ball, moving around. Um, so there's a lot that we ask from them. How Let's rare is it to get a guy who can do all those different things? Uh, well, it, it is rare, but we've been fortunate, um, you know, throughout um, our career. And, you know, coach has been fortunate throughout his to get guys that you can train up um, and get them to be on, you know, move tight ends. He seemed to be happy about where the line, how it, the direction it was headed. But are you, are you guys worried about depth because you don't have a lot of bodies? Right well, you're now? always worried about depth, um, you know, and we are down some guys now. But you're always worried about depth. That's why it's important for, for you to practice the right way so that everybody can play physical but stay healthy. Um, that's always important. What have you thought about the lines, run blocking, that aspect of the? Well, it's a work in progress. Run blocking, you know, Klonakis does a great job. Um, he's, you know, he's really um, tough and hard on them, but at the same time, he gets them to appreciate being an offensive lineman and gets them to appreciate how, or to understand how important they are to our offense. Um, but but it's a work in process. Knowing when the timing of the um, you know the blocking concepts, um, you know how to pull with depth on certain play, how to skip pull on another play. There's a lot that goes into playing offensive line. Um, and you know Klonakis, he knows what he's doing. He's you know he's the best at it, so he'll get it right. You see uh, Pat Thomas's role kind of right now. Where's he headed? Um, he's just right there with him. Yeah. All right, guys.